everybody, Dr. Leo Crownwood, Healthy Feed Podiatry. Got a great patient here. He decided that he didn't need any medical treatment for his tub because it got really red and thought it would just go away. But um, this happens a lot. People have an infected Negro nail. He didn't know there was a procedure to have this taken out. It got redder and redder and redder. And I think it's been two weeks, you said, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So two weeks with a red toe. And you can't, it's not as significant with a beta dye on there, but I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol to this so you can see. But the redness is actually, this is full blown cellulitis of the toe. And you can see that the cellulitis actually is up on the top of the toe. We've got beta dye in there, which is an antiseptic there. But um, the redness is, this is all really red and angry. And you'll see as, I, as this, here come, the blood flow is coming back. You see the blood flow coming back. The redness and the cellulitis is going all the way up this way. So this is a healthy young guy, right? I would say no so, yeah. Health, yeah, no <laughs> health issues. Um, and um, what happens is over time, when you wait, the infection just keeps taking over because the nail's digging into the toe, so it keeps getting infected, and then it starts to go up the foot. If you were not healthy, this would blow up. You'd be, you'd be, you'd be sick. You'd have a fever chills. He does not have a fever and chills, which is great. Um, as soon as we open this up, when we open this abscess up and, and get rid of the ingrown nail, he's going to get better within 48 hours. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here. I don't know if any pus is going to come out. And if you need me to lay your head back, just let me know. Okay. Sure. Okay. So the good thing is it looks like a dangerous situation. This would be really dangerous if he was diabetic or immunocompromised. Um, but he's a healthy person. So what will usually happen is at some point that abscess would probably just burst, it would drain. He'd get a little bit of relief. He'd probably try to cut the nail out himself and say, everything's fine. <laughs> and then two months later, he'd be back here. So, okay, let me get my scissors here to open this up. And this is very exciting because we might get pus. We might get to see pus. And the people that watch our videos love to see pus, by the way. <laughs> so it's the, uh, for some reason that they get this satisfying feeling when they see someone's abscess get drained. Well, yeah, that's a, a thing now. So, and our patient here is actually in the healthcare industry, in the business side of the healthcare industry, he told me. So let's see what we got here. And I'm gonna stand back, there we go. I'm not even doing anything. You can already see the pus coming out. There we go, we got pus. Let's get a round of applause for pus. <laughs> Yay, pus. Um, I'm gonna take a culture of this. The reason I wanna take a culture because the infection, this is actually a little bit more than normal, normally infected. So I wanna see why um, it's a little redder than normal for someone who's young and healthy, just in case it's something resistant. That's what I worry about with some people. We're gonna put them on an antibiotic that covers. So what I'm gonna do is actually dip this in here in the pus. Ooh, look at that pus. Yeah, you can see where it's been, the abscess says. If he weren't numb, he'd feel relief actually just from this because of the, um, the pus coming out of there. Um, but we're gonna put him on an antibiotic that covers most bacteria. I just want to be sure there's nothing resistant in here. That's what we worry about. And if there is, we'll just change his antibiotic. But even if there is a resistant bacteria, just doing this procedure alone, he's going to get better. So it just may not get 100% better if there's any kind of resistance. So here we go. Let's open this up here. So we're going to take this off. And you can see right there, were you cutting on this a little? Yeah. Tried, okay, yeah, I can see where you tried to cut it. You can see his, this is what the patient did. He is not a podiatrist. Let's get that straight. So we're gonna shove this under the nail here, and I'm under the epinicium. And actually, this is great. You can see it slide under. It actually slid, does that hurt you? No. Okay. It slid under pretty easily. And the reason being, when you get an abscess like that, the abscess will actually lift the nail up, and the nail gets loose. So what I'm gonna do, uh, he actually made a little notch for me. I'm gonna go where his notch is that he made it just to keep it straight. And we're gonna cut this back under the epinicium. And the epinicium is where the nail cells produce the nail. And you're okay up there, right? No yeah. problem? Okay. And now we're gonna grab onto this and we're gonna take this out. This is the satisfying part. You said you've never seen this procedure before, huh? No. Okay, is this freaking you out? No, okay. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, here, let me, I'll put your back down if it's. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I just don't want you to. The talking sometimes messes people up and 
we're gonna take this out here. When you'll, you can watch this at home, you don't have to watch it now, but anyway, there you can see it's coming out, but actually it looks like something came off of it. You can see how it broke off of it, right? We're gonna get that out too. Look at that piece. That is unbelievable. This is what came out, by the way. Nice. Yep. Yeah, and just relax if you need to sit back. Maybe we can get you to go into podiatry, what do you think? <laughs> Did you ever think about going to medical school? No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, both my parents are, are nurses, so yeah. I got kind of a full shop growing up. But... Uh-huh. Did they, they didn't try to convince you to go into medicine? No, no, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm trying to get my daughter to go into podiatry. She wants to be a doctor. She wants to be a surgeon. Oh, wow. And she's a senior in high school right now, so we'll see. Okay, so it looks like a big gap there. The reason being, we had to take a little bit more than normal there but he had that notch there that he created this will actually fill in but just like that believe it or not look at all that it's going to still be a normal size nail this is what it'll look like when it fills in this is how much we took out i don't know if this i don't want to freak you out but see cool yep so that's all out of there and the the abscess itself the bacteria kind of ate its way through there but it's good now it's going to be able to drain um let's go ahead and put this on the wall wash it so um, the infection will be able to resolve now, so let's go ahead and put the sodium hydroxide on there. Joanne's got all kinds of filming techniques. Mm -hmm. Very cool. She backed up. Mm -hmm. She's doing a, a whole panoramic view. We should almost do a, a view of the whole room here. But this is let's, this is the good part. So we're gonna see this, and we can actually see as the chemical, the sodium hydroxide, is killing the nail cells, so it won't grow back again. Okay, so we're making this so it won't grow back on the side again. Then you won't have to dig it again. Okay, perfect. How much time, when you were digging at this, how much time did you spend on it? Oh, um, I would say, I mean, at least last <laughs> night, um, probably about five, 10 minutes in the middle of the night just to okay. have some relief. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean. So it wasn't like an hour of like bathroom surgery or anything like that? No, it wasn't to that extent, but it, I mean, totality probably more than that. Okay. Because look at people that'll tell me they'll just sit there for like an hour with all kinds of stuff, vinegar and whatever they can find, alcohol, and try to cut the thing out, like they're doing some type of surgery, that they're gonna get rid of it forever. But again, until this procedure's done, you're not getting rid of it forever, so. All right, one more stick here of the sodium hydroxide. And Delane is zooming in, nice and close, get real close, right. extreme close up. Extreme. This is where we can flash the words extreme close up view. All right, not that we're gonna do that, but um, this is good. The the chemical that I'm putting here, by the way, will also kill some of the bacteria that's on there. Cool. Okay, so, and then there's another plus with that. Now we're gonna flush it with vinegar and water. We're gonna do a good flushing here. So we can watch this here with our little dropper. Um, the reason is we're trying to flush out the, actually the bacteria too. And this is vinegar and water. Vinegar is great because it kind of changes the pH of the area there too. Um, there's a little bit of dead skin there that I see that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to just take a couple of the nips here. You can see this right here. We're going to make this nice and clean. We don't want any of that getting caught. Once in a while, the, the patients get a little bit shy when they're cleaning this and they don't want to grab at anything that's in there and it gets stuck inside of the area where it was removed. So um, this actually, he's got a pretty good gap there. That's gonna fill in as long as he cleans it. Don't, don't be shy when you're cleaning it. Just put the washcloth right in there and you can clean it away or you can use a uh, Q-tip and twirl it around in there with soap on it and that works really well too, okay? So we're going to now put some cream on here, some silicone cream. And that's it, and then we're gonna wrap this up. So let me just show everyone this. This is our culture tube. What I did was I break off that tube. I just want people to see what this looks like. And this is what we send in. They're gonna take this Q-tip out. They're gonna put it on a Petri dish and they're gonna see what they grow. It's pretty cool. They just rub it on there and then all of a sudden the bacteria start to replicate on the dish and they can figure out what it is. Pretty neat, huh? Anyway, for those of you that have never seen a culture tube before, Okay, let's wrap this up, and 
The antibiotic that I'm going to put the patient on is Augmentin. That's what I like to start with. Are you allergic to penicillin? No. Okay. So Augmentin is amoxicillin with hyaluronic acid. We're going to put him on that. He'll take that. He's going to soak it in white vinegar and water. I want him to soak it because it'll change the pH of the skin. It'll kill other bacteria. It'll keep it clean. And it'll help because of that gap. It'll help pull out some of the debris and the drainage. And um, it, it will keep it cleaner than he probably will be able to do himself with just um, using a washcloth. And that's just because people are kind of scared when they see an open area like that. They're kind of scared to be aggressive with it and rub it, but the soaking itself will just will draw the, um, the fluid out of there and draw the debris out of there too. So we got a nice bandage on there. He's got a big red toe, big red toe, cool. And that's it. So if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little button right up at the top, right up there. And we'll have more awesome videos for you in the future. And thanks for watching.